Hello everyone, and welcome to the Zabura Extraction Guide. Okay, let's dive straight into it. This is the Zabura tree. I know, compared to my Tefra video, this is nothing. But don't underestimate the Zabura. It looks simple, it is simple, but it's worth a lot. But first of all, let's collect Zabura. But first of all, where we can find Zabura? Nearly everywhere, but you will find the most around in Meduli, of course. Or Meduli, or Medoli, or ugh, whatever. Make sure that you have enough pickaxes with you. And of course, you don't need so much gold in your inventory like me. I just found this in the barrel, so yeah. Okay, anyway, Zabura looks like this. I mean, it's literally a sandstone. So yeah, it's just sand and stone, you know, and they are fucking everywhere. Oh man, what a nice view. Let's gather some rocks, woohoo! And I found this guy. He's also collecting rocks. I just wonder if he know what to do with the rocks, because I haven't made a Zabura video yet. Hmm. Anyway, let's gather some Zabura. Rock and roll, rock and roll. You know, you, you, you throw the pickaxe in and, and then the rock rolls, you know. Oh my god, it's getting worse. The flat chokes are getting more stale after all these years. Oh man. Okay, let's extract the stuff. But first, what comes out of the extraction of Zabura? Is it any useful? We will discuss it now. Zabura powder first. You can use Zabura powder for refining, so you can use it to make steel, bronze or messing. Yeah, steel is pretty good. Uh, bronze often for building and messing of course for heavy axes for example. Next is Jedite. It's a pretty good slashing material, so you can make swords out of it, pretty good swords out of it. It's like the cheap man's chronite. It's light and it's sharp and it's good. And it's also pretty easy available. Next we will have black blend. We will make black out of that. Because you can't do anything else with it, so yes. Then we have pyrite. That can be used by mages. It has currently no other value. And last but not least we have malachite. We will make copum out of it, because you can buy sulfur already at the region vendor. Maybe someday you won't be able to buy sulfur from the region vendor. And then the malachite extraction gets even more useful. Because sulfur is a pretty good catalyst for some operations. If you don't have coal available, you can also take sulfur for the most operations. Not for all, but for the most. But for now, let's make some copum. But first we need to start the extraction process. Go to your nearest crusher or grinder, better the crusher. But if you want more Zabura powder for steel production, then throw it in the grinder, not in the crusher. In the crusher you will just get more Malachite and more Jedite. Okay, now after some time we get our materials out of our Zabura ore. For the full extraction yield, please look in the link in the description. But right now we focus on the black blend. Okay, now we are making black out of our black blend. Okay, first of all, the best way to make black out of black blend is the Greater Naturus, but it's simply too far away depending on where you are, but uh, no. We just do the most practical way to getting shit done. The difference in extracted materials are under 10%, so yeah, ignore it. We will just get the normal Naturus. You will get out a pretty good amount of black there. Problem is, in Meduli right now there is no Natorus. Maybe they will patch it in, maybe not. So you can also use the furnace, if no other shit is available. If you don't have the catalyst bore, you can just do it without because black is not very useful at all. Only if you wanna sell it to guilds that are building much stuff then yeah it could be worth something. But uh, let's move on to uh, Malchite. We will make a couple more of that and sulfur of course. You can use uh, boar as catalyst, but you can also use coke if you have kalks available and can make coke or something. Or you can just, uh, like me, uh, throw it in there. It's not the best idea, but it works. And you will get your copoma out of there either way. But please be sure that you have a few skills of it. And maybe the Jedi skill for the crusher or something. Because otherwise you will waste much of your time and much of your money. And much of your Zabura if you don't have the correct skills. And here you have it, the complete Sabura experience. Like and subscribe, follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And support me on Patreon. And just goodbye, I don't know how to end my videos, bye.